water. I'm not even kidding. I found a dollar. Oh. So I'm officially 20 as of yesterday. The big 20. Sorry if I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been pretty busy. I can be a little bit lazy at times. Super quick reminder to like and subscribe in three, two, one. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the video. For this video, I'm going to be copying one of my favorite YouTubers, Cody Ko. We're gonna be looking at BuzzFeed's 20 things you need to know about being 20. Cause I'm 20 now, so how fitting. Number one, we're already starting off with a good, great, family friendly uh, topic right here. We got, uh, don't let anyone tell you millennials are the worst. Perfect, this is exactly what I need to know. Totally, uh, Totally relevant to my situation in life. Let's 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 take a look at what this is. Um, there's a media narrative that says millennials are entitled and narcissistic. All right, but what it doesn't tell you is that 20 years ago, Generation Xers were described as self-involved slackers. Hmm. 20 20 years. I cannot read. Before that, 20. Oh, 20 years before that. Um, maybe I should just learn to read. Um. um Wow. 20 years before that, young people were no good long hairs who didn't appreciate the sacrifices of their parents and grandparents. The reality is that every young generation gets criticized by the previous generation. All right, well, um, I guess I agree, but this is a little outdated because I'm not a millennial. In fact, I'm not a boomer, I'm not a generation X, I'm not a millennial. I am um, a uh, proud to be a Zoomer. Okay, the Zoomer generation. You know what, generations, who cares? I have met some really nice old people, boomers, okay? And I've met some really terrible young people, and vice versa. Get over it, um, okay, boomer. That's, uh, whoever wrote this was a boomer, and they should um, go back to high school. You look great, thanks. Don't feel it, because I've been sick, and that's all right, you know what? I look great. BuzzFeed's telling me I look great. I look great, right? Now, nowadays, you may look in the mirror and focus on your faults, but in 15 to 20 years, you will look back at your photos from today and see none of those things. Instead, you'll think, I look great. Why didn't I appreciate myself more? I think everyone looks great no matter what. Just depend on your age, unless you do drugs. No offense to people who do drugs, but you look like you do drugs. That's not gonna be in the video. Maybe it will be, I don't know. Number three, stop taking so many risks. This is bad advice, hold on. You probably think you did all your crazy, irresponsible things in your teens, but one day you might look back in your 20s and cringe at all the risk you took. Okay. You might not be doing donuts in the high school parking lot anymore, but you're drinking and driving or engaging in risky sexual behavior. You're putting yourself in every bit as much as danger. All right, I agree with the, the whole driving and drinking and all that, but. You do have to take risk, otherwise your life is going to be a boring mess of normal, boring things. Let's move on. I may, maybe I should be a little bit more open about these. Be a little bit more um, open-minded. Wow, redundant. All right, open-minded from here on out, guys. Open-minded. Number four. Oh boy, there's... All right, open-minded. If anything inside you is telling you that you might have a problem with drugs or alcohol, address it now. We will skip over this because I am an alcohol. I don't have a problem, so good on this one. Let's keep going. Well, number five, you have skilled older people don't. Exploit them. Ex exploit them. Right. The technology. I am doing that right now. Thank you, BuzzFeed. Number six, if you don't know something, don't announce it to the world. If you can find the answer to a question by Googling, you should. Announcing it to your older co-workers that you don't know who Mikhail Gorbachev <laughs> nailed that pronunciation is is won't when you won't win you any points with it. I this is all so whoever wrote this was clearly on drugs because that well I guess that is gibberish and stupid so I hate it. I'm sorry, I'm really negative today. Number seven. Your parents miss and worry about you more than you think. Oh, boo-hoo, you have parents, I don't. And I still go along fine. You might think, I'm an adult, my parents don't need, my parents don't worry about me. But they probably do, especially 
if you're on your own in another city, in their eyes, you're still fairly new to the adulthood thing, and that worries them. Plus, they love you. So if you feel like you could call or text more, you probably should. This is kind of making me sad. Number eight. You should support your friends and coworkers' accomplishments instead of ge being jealous or overly competitive. One million percent agree. This right here is true. Don't be jealous of other people's accomplishments. Be proud of them. Like seriously, it means a lot. Like it or not, the people in your circle now are going to be some of your best contacts in your life. It may not be always great when someone accomplishes something before you do, but if you sincerely cheer their success instead of being relaxed in jealousy, they will likely do the same for you one day. And maybe even in their position, help you get there. If you say, oh wow, good job, um, you suck because you won the lottery. Come on, man. You would want the best for, never mind, this is a terrible analogy, I'm gonna keep moving on. Number nine, realize that long term isn't really the long, that long, especially when it comes to goals. I don't really know what this means, so I'm gonna read it. Let's say you dream of taking a trip somewhere fun, London. You don't have the two grand it'd take to do it. Getting that two grand is pretty attainable if you commit to putting aside $10 a week for four years. Of course, in your 20s, four years seems like a long time. But guess what? Those four years will fly by faster than you think. And one day, you'll wake up, you'll wake up and realize that one day you'd be down 10 bucks and... All right, sure, budget properly, I agree. Um, people don't know how to really budget because ding, 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 no one taught them. You can do way better than $10. You did $20? Instead of four years, that's two years. I think I'm gonna need a new memory card. A, th a new SD card, at least. Number 10, we are halfway there, baby. Don't think that good things will never happen to you. Okay, got a little meme. It says, uh, just remember, if you hang in there long enough, good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at me. Life is a long road. Ten years from now, you might have that job you want, be married with kids, or have accomplished whatever else is it you want to accomplish. Uh, sure, you may feel lost right now. I disassociate, exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest, and it's hard to open up. My bad, I'm I'm sorry. I, um, my memory card, uh, or my SD card did fill out. The angle might be a little different than it was before, but still me life is a long road 10 years from now you may not have that or you may have that job you want be married with kids or have accomplished whatever else you want to do accomplish mm -hmm. i can't read by not looking at the screen sure you may feel lost right now but if you stay positive keep plugging away and remain open to possibilities good things can happen and they will um i agree with this i'm trying to be uh open-minded with buzzfeed so I agree with this, I just don't like BuzzFeed's style of... If you're always that negative person at work, at home, or school, in the hills, the country, forest, I don't care. Mole people, anyone, if you're that negative person, no one's gonna wanna hang out with you, and um, I wouldn't wanna hang out with you. But if you're a positive person and you really know what your goals are, shoot for stars, I believe in you. Um, I'll, you know, good job. Good job, sport. You want a gold star? Number 11. If your gut is telling you some someone isn't right for you, trust it. I can already tell you this is 100% true. Take my word for it. If you got a bad feeling, don't. Well, I don't know. Assess the situation before. Let me, let me, let's, 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 let's read it. People often stay in relationships because they're afraid of hurting their partner's feelings or because they're hoping they might change. Um, hmm, yikes. Uh, but time is short, even when you're young. And if you feel something isn't working, you owe, you owe it to yourself to move on. These are all very vague and normal things that apply to anyone in whatever age they are. Don't try so hard to make people like the things you like, especially if you're a weirdo, like a lot of people I know, including myself, you just like weird things. You're a weirdo. Get over it. Don't try to make other people weird. Introducing people to things you care about can be fun, but not everyone is going to be a super fan like you. Your favorite band is coming to town, but no one wants to go with you. Consider going alone. You may have more fun than if they went with you. You don't want to drag someone who isn't into it. In the end, if you like it, 
that's all that matters. You should be open to new possibilities though. If your friend has like some weird band, go to it. You may have fun, who knows? You may not, you may hate it, you may want to kill them. Don't waste time wallowing in self-pity. I'm only on number 13. I don't have time for this. It's okay to be upset when things don't go your way, but you don't want to dwell on it. Instead, focus on something positive right away. Bums because you're out of shape? Take a walk. Upset your writing was rejected? Start writing something new. Being proactive will start you down the road to feeling better. I just figured out what this is. The person who wrote this article, BuzzFeed articles are a joke, everyone knows. But the person who wrote this is just writing for him or herself to make them feel better. I bet all of these apply. Don't try it so hard to make people like the things you like. Oh, this works perfectly. If your gut is telling you someone doesn't write for you, trust it. All right, maybe not that. Don't worry about what people think so much. One of the best parts about getting older is no longer caring what people think. Ever seen an old lady wearing curlers at the supermarket? Yes. Uh, and it's because she doesn't care what anyone thinks. Wow. It's crazy. Old people not caring what people think? I've seen an old man who's naked mowing his lawn. Probably because he doesn't care what people think. Maybe I should do the same thing. Sure. Don't care what people think, but also don't get arrested. Another thing. Hey officer, why'd you pull me over? Well, you are going 99 in a uh, 25 mile per hour zone, so you got your license, registration. I don't care what you think, okay? You know, this BuzzFeed article, when I turned 20 last year, um, it said, I don't need to care what other people think. So, I think you're in the wrong pal. Uh, Uno reverse. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need to come in with me. Uh, get in the back of my car. Positive. 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 Don't feel bad about saying no. Okay, no. Number 18, here we come because we're almost there. Listen to what old people have to say. And there's a picture of Yoda, the oldest man in history. I just call Yoda a man. I don't know what Yoda is, but he's definitely not a man. When you're young, it's easy to dismiss what older people say, but they've been on this earth a lot longer. Yeah, all right. Uh, moving on to number 19, because, you know. At the same time, don't be afraid to follow your inner voice. Oh, that's what I was just saying. Moving on. Uh, number 20, finally, uh, don't worry so much about getting older. Because getting older is awesome. Plus, you always want to get to 21, because then you can start drinking and, you know, you can get, um, become an alcoholic. Like my ex-wife. Die, Sharon. Getting old isn't so bad. You're still you, just with a whole lot more of your stuff figured out. Oh, I hate this. All right, that was BuzzFeed's 20 things you need to know about being 20 or 20 and 20, I don't know. But um, it did not make me feel any better than I have before. Um, in fact, not at all. Um, I just feel the same and this is all used knowledge that um, me reading it makes me feel like I've, I've learned something, but I really haven't. This is all stuff that I've, everyone, should know at the age of 19, unless you don't. Maybe it's a good message for you younger kids, but I don't know. I am almost to 2,000 subscribers, which is super exciting. I'm also monetized, also very exciting. Um, I got some exciting things coming on this summer, and so stay tuned. Keep watching my videos, like, comment, and subscribe as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and as always, until next time.